Hello, it's Teacher Ray again. Are you ready to make more art with me? Okay, let's go. Paul Klee for kids. Lesson two with Teacher Ray. You will need a flat surface to work on, like a table or a desk. Some paper. A pencil. A pencil sharpener. An eraser, because we all make mistakes, and artists like to change their mind. A cup. And lots of crayons. The name of this painting is Castle and Son. Paul Klee painted this in 1928. He used oil paint on canvas. This painting is of a city. Remember the squares from lesson one. Do you see squares in this painting? What other shapes do you see in this painting? Paul Klee not only loved colors, but shapes as well. Can you see how he uses shapes in this painting? Do you see a city? A sun? We are going to make our own shape city pictures, much like this one by Paul Klee. We are going to begin by folding our paper to make a grid, so that we have rectangles to work with. Fold your paper in half one time, like this. Now fold it again, like this. And one more time to make three folds, like this. Now open your paper. You should have eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn your paper and fold it one time the other direction. Like this. Now fold it one more time, like this. Open your paper again to see your grid. One, two, three, four rectangles down, and one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across. There's your grid. Good job. Okay, now that we have a grid to begin with. We are ready to add more shapes. You can add triangles, squares, circles, and more rectangles. Look again at Paul Klee's painting. Look at all of those shapes. See the sun? Isn't that a beautiful circle? 
we are going to begin by making a sun. Remember that cup I said you would need? That's what we will use to make circles. Watch. Isn't that terrific? A perfect circle. Now let's add more shapes. We can use the folds in the paper to help us make straight lines. And those lines can help us make our shapes. We can make rectangles. We can make squares. And we can make triangles. Remember, we are making a picture of a city. So we need lots and lots of shapes. And they need to reach high up into the sky. Put me on pause until you are finished drawing your shapes. When you're ready, click play. Yay! You're back! Do you have your crayons ready? Great! Before we begin coloring, let's look again at Paul Klee's painting. See how many different colors Paul Klee uses? Wow! And how he tries not to let the same colors touch? Let's try that with our city pictures. Remember how you used colors to show feelings in lesson one? Think of how cities make you feel. Use those colors to color your city. You can start coloring anywhere you want. I'm going to start with my son. Remember, we want to try to not let the same colors touch. Remember the rectangles from our grid? We can use those to color our sky.
two colors. So the same color doesn't touch. Put me on pause until you are finished coloring. When you're done, click play. Are you finished with your city picture? Would you like to see mine? Okay. Ta-da! What do you think? Hmm. <laughs> so, I chose the color red, green, and yellow because cities make me feel excited and busy. Sort of like a traffic light with a lot of stopping, going, and waiting, and then going again. <laughs> Can you share your picture with me and talk about the colors that you chose and how those colors show how you feel about cities? You can share with me in a video, or you can share with someone at home. Always get permission before making a video, okay? Okay. I enjoyed making art with you. Until next time, goodbye! Paul Klee for Kids includes three lessons. Go to lesson three for more with Teacher Ray.